Welcome to this introduction to Study with Primary. This will explain who is most suited to use this interface and how to navigate to the different areas. Study with Primary is most suited to lower primary or foundation Key Stage 1 students, upper primary or elementary Key Stage 2 students and teachers. So now let's look at the interface itself. First of all, you need to log in with your unique username and password. Once you have done this, you will see the home page. On your home page, you have access to your classes and groups, in this case, the book club. Your classes will come through your management information system, whereas your groups are created in StudyWiz itself. At the top, we have different tabs. This one's to go back. This is to reach the home page again. Everyone has a personal calendar which shows events relevant to them. StudyWiz messaging is where you can send messages to students and teachers securely. Moving along, we come to the eLocker. Inside here, you have your own personal space to upload any documents you like, 24 seven, anywhere there is internet access. You can create shared eLocker folders also, where you can share work with your students. They can also send work back to you in a student Dropbox. Next, we have the tools menu. These will vary from school to school, but you should all have group membership. This is where you can create and join groups. You can also have your own blog and access to your students' blogs. On View Student Reports, you can access the usage reports of your students and see how they have done in assessments. You can also see their e-lockers. On Settings, you can change your password. And finally, this is where you log out. So, from the home page, you can see your class by clicking on View Class Page. This brings you to the class page, where you can set up a personalized information panel. This can be as long or as short as you like. Here's one that's been done. You can add images, insert tables, and you can also add web links and videos. Down here, we have the class calendar where you can add events that are important for the class. Over here, you have featured activities which means pupils can access their activities straight away. You also have a featured folder. This will feature on the class page and also on the home page. If we click on this folder, you can see that within a folder, you can create subfolders. You also have a folder description panel where you can add text, web links, and images. Down here you will see all the activities that have been created within this folder. If you click on add activity you can see the range of activities that can be created within the platform. Finally at the top we have the help button which gives online help and if you click on tools and go to the global community you can access StudyWiz user guides. For any news, ideas and sharing of practice just go to our blog at the address shown here. 